Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, it's so good to have you here. Uh, this week we are doing a series called Daily Reminders. I'm sure as, as we go out to work or maybe you're a student, we, you have a to-do list, you have a checklist of things to do uh, today or this maybe this week and you ch check it off. And similarly, it would be great if we have a spiritual checklist or checklist that we need to remind ourselves of each and every day. The psalmist says this in Psalm 103 verses 1 and 2. He says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. So the psalmist is saying, I want, telling himself, I want to remember. Uh, I do not want to forget all the benefits that God has brought into my life. So um, we are exhorted, we are reminded to remember all that we have. We are reminded to remember who our God is and all that He brings our way. Uh, one of the foundational truths that we need to remind ourselves and remember uh, each and every day is that we are new creations in Jesus Christ. I'm going to read uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17, that very familiar verse, which says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So, if you are a follower of the Lord Jesus, if you have received Jesus, the Lord Jesus, into your heart, into your life, the Bible simply declares that you become a new creation. You are born again. That your spirit has become has come alive and is born again and can relate to God and so on. So in Christ, we are a new creation. In Christ, we have a new identity and our self-worth and our identity comes from this fact that we are in Christ, that we are sons and daughters of the Most High God. So our identity and our self-worth is not determined by our education or lack of it. So our identity and self-worth is not determ determined by our bank balance or the material possessions or the wealth that we have or the lack of it. Our identity and self-worth is also not determined by how influential we are or the kind of background that we have or the lack of it. So we, um, every day as we go out, we need to remind ourselves that our identity and self-worth comes from who we are in Christ. Because through the day, we might face several situations, we might be in several uh, circumstances that actually challenge our identity and our self-worth. Um, now, the Lord Jesus, for Him, he come, His very identity came under attack from Satan. And we read this in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 3, um, where the, it, says, it simply says this, Now, when the tempter came to Him, He said, if you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. Now see how he prefaces that, if you are the Son of God. And we see the same thing, Matthew chapter 4 and verse 6, and said to him, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, etc. And every time the Lord Jesus counteracted uh, or, count, uh, uh, or came against this, uh, what Satan said, by saying, it is written. So today, I just want to remind us, it is written that you and I are new creations in Christ. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you for this reminder that we are new creations in you and our identity and self-worth comes from you and not on anything else that we see around God. We thank you that we are born again, that we thank you that we are new creations in Christ. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.